is going to be playing a wing. We've got Joe Acapio playing one of our defensive positions. Well, Billy Connor is going to be playing the other wing, and I'm guessing that our next. Oh, you better than guessing our next one. Uh, looks like Noah Thulin is going to be playing up front. So I'm looking to see how he's going to rearrange the crowd, looking at one defenseman there and four offense up front. But we'll see how coaches got this worked up. So we, we think we're going to see Pat Dowd back on defense today, taking the place of Mario Morena for his one-game suspension for a hit from behind. Well, that wouldn't make sense then in, in looking at that starting lineup. Right now they're announcing uh, the Windsor Lock Suffield Granby team. We may see a little bit more of other players. Uh, James Garofalo coming back from an injury. You may see him out there a little bit. Uh, a little bit smaller ice surface here, which which should should be good for his game. You know, a big, strong kid. Yeah, it gives him some room to, you know, less room for everybody to get around you and a lot easier for him to take the body there. And here we are for the National Anthem. Your cameraman is not a singer today. Yes, there'll be no O Canada today. And uh, now the boys are strapping all their equipment back on, getting themselves ready, and we'll have a drop of the puck in the next uh, minute or two. Okay, so here we go, ready for the drop of the puck to start of today's game. Let's see which Weathersfield team shows up today. If the boys have got some aggressive left over after the last game, it was a uh, not a good game for him. Weathersfield controls the puck, dumps it at neutral ice. It's kept up on the boards, dropped up the left side. Suffield's going to gain control of that. They're trying to kick it out, but it's kept in by, looks like Noah, brought around the net, round by Suffield, up the right side. They cleared out the neutral ice, cut, cut out by Pat Dowd, but they get by him. Joe Carpio's back there to pick the man up, puts him into the boards. Puck's dumped deep back around the net. There's a scrum going on for right now, right on the left side of Domingo. It's loose out in front and chipped out in the middle. Picked up by Billy Connor. Billy's coming up. He dumps it by one guy. Going to be no icing here. So Billy's going to work his way down. See if he takes the body. He does. Puts a boy in the boards. Puts it out in front. Tipped away by Suffield. And they're off to the races. Going up the left side. Joe Carp is going to be there to pick that man up. Does a good job at back checking there. They drop the puck back. They lose it out in front. It's deep behind Weathersfield. Joe makes a spin move. Gets piled on back there. Kicked back up but not out. Suffield dumps it back in behind the net. It's going to be picked up by Carpio. He's going to flip it up the boards. Nope, he's going to be checked off that puck there. It's pinned in the corner right now. Four guys working for it. Now it's loose. Kicks out. Trevor kicks it up. Picked up by Joe as Joe's moving up the ice. He's in the blue line. Loses control of the puck as it goes deep in the back corner. Joe's going to work right through it. Comes out with it. Avoids one check. Turns. Takes a shot. And he scores! That work, all that whole shift, all Joe Carpio there as he came through that, brought that puck from end to end, lost it at the blue line, regained composure of it behind the back of the net, fought off three different defenders, was able to make a turn and catch the goalie napping. Weathersfield's going to take a 1-0 lead with 13 minutes left to play in the first. Enfield gets the puck, they try to clear the zone, and they do, it's out neutral ice. They're coming through the blue line, they have an icing call right there as the man crossed before the puck got through this face off will be outside Weathersfield zone to the right of Domingo that certainly was a nice start good to see after that tough game the other night face off one by Suffield dumped into the zone carried now down around the back of the net thrown out and picked up <clears throat> looks like Patty Dowd's working his man is he still got control of the puck 
spinning around down the backside, looking for a man out in front, throws a, a centering pass, but it's long. Tried to be cleared out by Weathersfield, but it's not. Dumped back in the corner by Suffield. Giving chase, looks like it's Trevor back there. Suffield comes out with it. They're up against the boards. Throws it up to their D. D's gonna take a shot. It's kicked off by Weathersfield and dumped. We're gonna have an icing call coming, and we do. So we'll have an icing call right there as uh, Trevor dumps that puck up and clears the zone. This gives Weatherfield time for a change. Unlike the NHL, these guys are allowed to change on an icing call. Drop the puck could be to the left side of Domingo. One by Suffield into the corner. They've got a man in there. Adrian's working against him. Patty Dowd's down there with him. Suffield comes out with it, throws it right out in front of center and pass. It's gone wide, comes all the way down, and Suffield's able to dump it back in. They're working around the net. They have control of it. He comes out in front, throws it out in front, tipped away by Joe Carpio. Joe picks the puck up, tries to chip it up, but can't. Gets picked off by another Suffield player. Suffield's able to chip it up, and Weathersfield's working it out of the zone. Suffield gains control. They dump it back out to the center, or center ice. Picked up by Suffield. They cross the line. They dump it inside. Centering pass. No one home. Weathersfield picks it up. Adrian's able to clear the zone with it, dump it in deep, and Suffield's again clearing it out to neutralize. It's picked off by Anthony Portanova. Takes a long shot. Kick saved by the goalie. Nick Hawk takes a shot. Goes wide. The puck's picked up by Suffield up against the boards. Tipped in by, kept in by Anthony Portanova, and that faceoff will be right outside of Suffield's zone. The Suffield goalie just barely got a toe on that shot by Anthony. Almost went up 2-1. Yep, and it came right out to Nick. Nick got a good shot at it, just a little wide. Suffield wins his face off, kicks it right at the neutral ice, but Weatherfield's trying to dump it in. It can't. Picked up by Billy Connor. Billy's in across the zone. He avoids two checks coming in. He's going to gain control of the puck behind the net. He kicks it around behind the net. He had it for Noah, but Noah loses the handle on it. Pressing in is Joe Carpio. Joe's able to keep that puck in. Still working with Windsor Lock or Suffield down in there. Kept in by Weathersfield. Noah turns, spins, and dumps the puck deep behind the net. Billy Connor's going to pick this up. He avoids the check. He's got it on his backhand. Throws it out front. Oh, almost a nice try by Noah as he spun around looking for that backhand shot. And couldn't get it. Suffield clears the zone, puts it in neutral ice. They're in and has an offside as they cross the line before the puck. I thought Noah was going to get that spin move there as he spun around looking for that backhand, and it was just outside of his reach. So this faceoff will be outside of Weathersfield zone. Left side of Domingo right in front of their bench. Trevor Niren's gonna take that face off. Face off is just scrambled out in front. Suffield gains control, they go D to D, they look for a man, they pass it up the board, it's gonna be intercepted by Weathersfield at their blue line. They bring it back a little, Weathersfield's still looking for a clear, a clearing pass right to a Suffield player, right in the middle of the ice. He takes that puck wide and dumps it behind the net. It's gonna be picked up by Weathersfield, but they can't get the clear. Right back to Suffield, guy open in front of the net, he shoots and he scores. Defense left a man wide open in front of the net. Made an easy goal for Suffield. So with 10.55 left in the first, it's a 1-1 tie. Ryan Byrne takes that face off. It's just scrambled out front. Suffield picks it up, comes out of neutral ice, and crosses into the field zone. Long shot, tipped away by Domingo. He's got a hold of the puck and makes a cover. Face off on the right side of Domingo. Puck still in a scramble. It's out, Weathersfield picks it up, throws it to the boards, it comes loose, Weathersfield's got it, they throw it up to their wing, it's Billy Connor, Billy chips it by the man, but he can't get it through, Suffield's able to clear it back up, but it's picked off by Weathersfield, the neutral ice, Matt Garcia puts a long shot in it, rebound comes out about six feet, but nobody there to get it, Suffield clears it up the boards, they're trying to clear it out of the rink, it's tipped by Ryan Burns, he's not able to keep it in, but Suffield gains control, they take a long shot that goes wide, dumped into the zone, puck comes out, looks like it's Ryan Byrne with it, he's Coming up the right side, he's gonna chip a backhand, but not into the zone. It's left by Suffield right at neutral ice. Weathersfield's still working for it. Billy Connor dumps it in and gets by his man. Suffield's gonna pick this up, loses a handle on it, throws it up the boards of their wing. 
Give it chases. Nick Larita puts a nice big check in the man, drops him down. Suffield is able to clear the puck, and looks like we've got an icing call coming. They waved off the icing for some reason, so the, Suffield's got the puck. They take a long shot, goes wide of the zone. Comes right all the way back to the other D. D dumps it back in behind the net. Suffield gains control. They try to dump it back in. Matt Garcia works with his man. It's broken out. Coming up the boards by Jake Rodriguez. Jake's trying to get by his man, but he's checked off along with the ref. Suffield gets behind there. <clears throat> They're able to clear it up the boards. Picked off by Joe Carpio. Joe's coming into the zone. Dumps the puck in. And we've got an offside as Jake was at least three feet in before the puck was able to be brought in. Face off just outside of Suffield's defensive end. Left side of their goal. Trevor's gonna take this face off. Lost at the face off, picked up by Weathersfield. Joe Carpio's got it, he dumps it deep and wide of net, giving chase, it looks like Trevor and Nick. The puck's kicked around the back of the net. It's gonna be kept in by Jake. Jake's got it on his feet, Nick Larito is over helping him with it. The puck kicks out behind him. Jake's got the puck, finds the man out in front. It's Nick Larito. Oh, he misses the backhand. Jake puts a backhand, or Trevor puts a backhand on, and Saved by the goalie. That centering pass by Jake got caught and went through 2D and got into Nick's skates and he tried to put a backhand on it and was unable to put any wood on that. It kicked out to Trevor who got a shot off but not much behind that. Shot comes, uh, pass comes right out in front off the rebound. Suffield tries to kick it up but it's not out. Matt Garcia dumps it in on net. Picked off by Suffield defenseman to kick it back up the boards. It's up on the left side. Trevor's working to keep that puck in the zone. Suffield's able to clear it out. Joe Carby is going to pick this up, chip it up the boards. It's going to be out at neutral. Suffield tries to chip it away. It's kicked up by Nick Larita over to, over to Jake, but Suffield's able to gain control and clear. They clear it up the ice. They got a man putting pressure on Matt Garcia. He dumps it out, but right to a Suffield player who trips coming through. It's kicked out, and it's going to be icing all the way down unless... Unless they called the touch by Suffield's defenseman, which obviously they did not, as the puck was cleared up. Um, so we have an icing call coming. The faceoff is going to be to the right side of Domingo with 8.24 left in the first at a 1-1 one -one tie. Suffield gains control and off the faceoff. They drop right to the deep, and Weathersfield was able to pick it off. The puck comes loose. They've got a Weathersfield player going for it along with a Suffield player. We had an interference there, but no call coming. As Suffield's able to clear that puck up through the D, they get up to the blue line. They can't get it in. They've got a man offside, so Suffield's trying to regroup. They dump it deep in the zone, picked up by Joe Carpio. Joe's by one man. He's skating through. He's at the blue line. He takes a long shot. Glove saved by the goalie, and he holds on to it. Face off will be in Suffield's end, right side of the net. Noah's going to take this face off with his left handed shot, see where he goes with it. Pulls it right back to the Joe Carpio, takes a low shot, kicked off by one of the skates in the Suffield defenseman. Suffield's trying to clear it up, and they do. They clear it all the way up, and we're going to have an icing call coming. Suffield was looking for that clearing pass with their wing up on the D, but went too far for him. Icing was the call. Ryan Burns going to take this face off for Weatherstreet, left side of Suffield's goal. Won by Suffield, but picked up by Noah. Noah takes a big check coming through. Suffield tries to clear it up. Joe Carpio's there, takes the hit, chips it up, and it's out of the zone right there. Face off will be outside of the zone. Face off one by Weathersfield. Adrian has it. He dumps it in in the zone. It's going to be right to the goalie. Picked up by Suffield. Ryan Burns giving chase. Suffield's trying to clear it, but can't. Adrian has a puck, dumps it back in at the blue line. Is not cleared. Suffield finally gets it cleared. They're coming through neutral ice up the right side. They bring the puck in. They get by one D, chipped away by the other D. Billy Connors there to flip that around. Puck's loose behind the back of the net. Joe Carpy's there. Sidesteps one man, but loses control of the puck. Suffield picks it up behind the back of the net, moves over to the right side corner. 
Got two men working on the puck with Suffield and Winslow are in Weathersfield at this point. Joe Carpio comes out with it. He spins. He looks. He finds a man clearing the zone. Can't get the clear. Picked up by Patty Dowd. Patty's looking for a man. He has Joe coming up the boards. Joe spins out, flips it up. It comes to neutralize right to Billy Connor. Billy's got to come in in his own. Loses the handle on it. Adrian's right there. Puts the shot on. Blocked by the D. Suffield's working on a three on two. Working back up. They get by the D. Pat Dowd puts a nice check in the man. Steals the puck coming up the right side. Flips it up the boards. Billy, uh, the puck comes loose. Suffield's D steps in. Takes the puck. Centers it. Comes loose. And there's Billy Connor. Come, Adrian coming through. Adrian got by one man. Had a hook. Can't get by the second one. Suffield clears that puck, run net, looking to make it up the zone, kept in by Nick Laredo. Suffield's got it now deep, they throw it across to their wing, cleared out of the zone, picked up by Joe Carpio, he's got one man on him, throws a pass D to D, Patty Dowd chips it up the boards, Nick Laredo loses the puck, Suffield kicks the puck up through and into neutral ice. Joe Carpio picks it up at the blue line, brings it back around to their net, has Nick Laredo coming up, Nick stretches up, he's able to dump the puck in, puts it deep and just wide of the net, Suffield's gonna be around the net, they chip it up to their wing, Coming through as they're trying to get it out. Nick Larita's working with his man. Overskates the puck. Suffield's able to clear the puck. They have wing to wing coming through. They get by Joe Carpio. Joe's able to gain control. Pits a speed on him. Puts a check on him. Comes up with the puck. Clears the puck up the zone. He's got, looks like Billy Connor coming through. Nope, it's Jake Rodriguez. Jake's got the puck. He comes in. He puts a shot. There's a rebound. Puck's out loose in the front of the net. Got a penalty coming against Suffield. Got a hook against Nick Larita as Nick was trying to Put, a, put that puck that dropped right out in front, right out in front for him. He went to put a swing on it. Suffield grabbed him, hooked him with his stick, kept that stick off the ice, and uh, didn't allow him to get a, get a shot on that rebound. But that's some good pressure by the boys with 541 left in first. So what's your first couple of years? One more time. Let's face off. Suffield can't get him. Macrosia lost the handle on it. He goes up right on the ground. Let's catch him. Suffield clears the puck in, but it's kept in by Bill O'Connor. Suffield's able to clear, get control of the puck and clear it up. Matt Garcia picks it up and neutralize. Matt comes into the zone with it, takes a long shot, high and above the goal, he said. Goalie can't control it, Suffield gets it, tries to clear the zone, and they do. It's going all the way down, it won't be an icing. Suffield's racing to get to that puck with Joe Carpio. They're going to beat Joe down there, but Joe's able to steal that puck away. He breaks up the zone, he's coming up the left side. Jumps one man, gets by the second man, takes a pass right out front to Billy Connor. Billy takes a shot and a save by their goalie. It's a nice move by Billy. Little toe drag there, get himself in position for that. Think it took a little too long for that shot. Gave the goaltender enough time to see where it was. Face off of being on the right side of Suffield's goalie. One by Weathersfield. Can't get kept in. Suffield's able to clear it out. Puck's at neutral ice. Suffield chips the puck down deep. It's going to be picked up by Billy Connor. He's going to go around the back of the net. Looking for a man. He throws it up towards Joe Caprio. It goes by him. Picked up by, looks like Trevor. No, Patty Dowd has it. Patty's coming through neutral ice. Makes a pass to Billy. He gets by Billy. Suffield's able to clear it and go all the way up the ice with a shot on net. Joe Caprio's going to take his time as he picks this one back up. He's got a man chasing him. Throws it back around the net to Macrosia, who throws it back to Joe. Joe throws it up in the neutral ice. Suffield's able to tip this one away, and they're going to dump it back in. Joe's going to pick it up behind the back of the net. One man pressure there. He throws it up the wing. He's got Billy Connor. Billy chips it up towards Patty Dowd, but they lose control. Suffield gains it again. They're going to throw this all the way back down to Weathersfield zone. 23 seconds left in a power play. Suffield's doing a good job at holding them off. Weathersfield's coming up through the zone. They try to throw it up the wing, but Suffield's able to pick this puck off again. Matt Garcia has it. He throws it up to Nick Laredo. Nick throws it out just past Pat Dowd, and Suffield gains control at the blue line. They dump it in the zone, giving chases. Matt Garcia kicks it back around to Pat Dowd. Pat picks it up. He's looking for a man, taking his time, no pressure. He's going to move it out of the zone. He's going to dump this in, gets by the blue line. He had... Looks like Jake. Jake makes a stop. Suffield gains control of the puck. It's in Jake's feet. Suffield tries to clear it up. It's kept in by Joe Carpio, and it's finally kicked out by Suffield. Chipped away by Matt Garcia as he came over to cover for D. Joe Carpio picks it up at the blue line. Can't get it deep. Nick Larita goes, dumps the puck in deep. Takes a shot to the back of the head, and off the ice he goes. Jake's working with a man. He takes, puts a big check on the man. Backhands one, and goal that a lot of people complaining here thinking that that was a check from behind as both men were sliding into the boards face off would be the left side of the looks like wildcats net 
One by Weatherfield, in the skate to Weatherfield, but Suffield comes out of, out of the hole with it. They're moving up through neutral ice. They dump it in deep after crossing the red line. Gain control by Matt Garcia. Matt's coming up the right side, chips it up off the glass, and it's out of the zone. Picked up by Adrian. Adrian's got a man with him. He takes a shot. No rebound. He had it. Anthony Portanova up on the other side. Adrian chose to take that shot, which, you know, watching the way the goalie's been handling some of these rebounds, not a bad idea. A little bit lower, get a pad shot instead of a chest shot there, and they'd had a rebound kicking out towards Anthony. Face off between the left side of Wildcats, one by Weathersfield, shot, low shot, rebound kicked out to the right side. Sophia dumps it around the back of the net. Wildcats are gonna pick it up on the boards. They got their winger looking to make a play. They throw it out in front, picked off by Anthony Portanova. He dumps it deep back in behind the net. 2.35 left to play. Sophia's gonna pick this one up. They've got the wing again. They're tripping it all the way up. They're looking for that cross ice pass to that wing. Patty Dowd's right there. Takes it, puts a big check on the man. Kicks the puck up. Sophia drops it back in that pile. Patty Dowd comes out with it. It's around the back of the net. Looking for it, throws it up off the boards, chipped away by Suffield, it's cleared, and Suffield's gonna dump it back in. We've got a delayed offsides, picked up by, looks like Matt Garcia. He's gonna get in across the zone. Suffield loses it. Anthony Portanova's here, puts a check on the man. Suffield's still working, they dump the puck back behind the net. Anthony's gonna be working with him. Suffield dumps it around the net. Ryan Merge is gonna beat that man to the puck. S avoids one guy, gets it, picks it up around the back of the net, throws it out to Billy. Billy takes a shot, a rebound, and a shot and a score. Follow up shot by Anthony Portanova off that rebound. That pass from Ryan Burton went out to Billy. Billy put the shot on, the rebound kicked out, and Anthony was able to drive it home. There's an encouraging goal for Weathersfield. You got a three, three juniors out there working together, everybody involved in that goal. Nice work, nice position by the boys, and that's the way they need to play this game. So with 151 left in the first, Weathersfield has taken a 2-1 lead. Weathersfield dumps the puck in. Suffield's able to clear this out. The Wildcats bring it up. They've got a man coming right up the middle. He gets by 1D, gets by the second. Weak shot comes on. Kicks out from Domingo. Puck comes left of him, and they pick up the rebound, and they score. So just like that, the Wildcats are on the board again with another goal with a 2-2 tie with 140 left. I'm not sure what happened on that one that we ended up with the, the juicy rebound. It Domingo looked like he blocked it with the stick, went to glove it, and it kicked right off of the glove and kicked out to the right, and he thought he still had it, yeah, judging it by like his he had look. It under so. control. Weathersfield picks his pass up. It picks it up. Trevor Trevor throws it up in front. Shot and a re but save. Nick Larito got a nice shot. Nice pass by Trevor. And Nick Larito was able to put a shot on net there. A little high, but goalie had to cover that. Face off's gonna be to the right side of Selfie wins the locks. Trevor's got it in his feet. Selfie's able to clear it up. They've got it at the blue line. They take a spin, they throw it up the boards. Picked up by Suffield at Weathersfield's blue line. They're coming in the zone, looking for it. Shot goes wide. Rebound comes right out in front of Pat Dowd. It's gonna be picked up by, looks like Trevor. No, it was Jake, loses it. Joe Carbio kicks it around the back of the net. Pat Dowd's gonna pick that up, throw it back to Joe. Comes right out in front, a rebound right there. Another shot by Suffield, blocked by the defense. Puck's kicked by the D. They're going to dump it deep inside the zone. Comes all the way around the net. Patty Dow to be the first man to it. Looks for his man. Throws it up the boards. And unfortunately, with no glass by those boards, he threw it up high enough that it cleared into Weathersfield's bench. We'll have another line change. 56.5 seconds left in the first with a 2-2 tie. Face off to the left side of Domingo. Puck won by Weathersfield, but Suffield is there right on top of the man. Picks that puck up in the corner. They dump it around the back of the net. It's kicked out by Suffield. They're looking for a man, looking for a man. Chipped away by Weathersfield. Right to Suffield's D. They take a long shot on net, and it goes off of the skates of a player and in the net. That shot never left the ice. It looked like it had no chance of getting there, but it deflected off of somebody's skates and went in the net. And just like that, the Wildcats take a 3-2 lead. Forty-two seconds left in the first period. Weathersfield's trailing three-two now. Face off one by Weathersfield, kicked out, but right to a Suffield player who's going to dump this puck in. Patty Dowd's coming around the net. He's looking to pick it up. Cannot. Puck's chipped up to the Wildcats D. They dump it back in. 
chipped away by Matt Garcia, picked up by Billy Connor. Billy chips it out of the zone. The Wildcats pick it up, they dump it, they're able to clear the zone. They're at neutral ice with it, they're coming up the left side. Puck's chipped back out by Weathersfield. Will not be an icing as the puck won't make it that far. Giving chase is Adrian right behind the back of the net. Suffield chips it up to the D, intercepted by Anthony Portanova, but he couldn't get the handle on it. Dumped back in right for the front of the net. Suffield's got it, two seconds left. They're gonna chip this up. We've got an icing call and Anthony puts a big hit on the man as that goes down. So the end of the second, first period, Weathersfield's trailing 3-2. Face off one by Weathersfield, picked up by Joe Carpio. He splits the D, comes into the zone, takes a long shot, and he scores! Joe Carpio picked that puck up right off the face off, took it in, split the D, took a long shot, and as we talked about in the, in the hallway, as we were discussing it, the shot needs to be low into the blocker side. There it went, and in it goes. I think that ties the Northern Connecticut record for, for fastest goal at the start of the second period. This face off won by Suffield. They bring it into the zone. Tipped away by Joe Carpio. Picked up by Patty Dowdy. Trips it up the boards. Chipped out by Billy Connor. Over to number seven was Ryan Byrne who dumps it into the zone. Suffield's trying to clear it out. Joe Carpio puts a check on the man. Got it, got it, goes by him. Streaking up the right side. He's coming in. Looks for a shot. Takes a wide shot off the netting. Picked away by Billy Connor. Kicked out. Joe Carpio throws it up to the zone, but it's kicked back in by Suffield. Pat Dowd throws it around to Joe. Joe dumps it by, gives it to Noah. Noah throws it out, looking for a man. Kicked away by Domingo, nice job. Billy Connor's gonna pick it up, regroup around the back of the net. Spins by a man, dumps it up the ice. Kept in by Suffield. They take a long shot, tipped and score. A tip shot by number 17. Weathersfield was content by, by not having any uh, I guess urgency to clear the zone. And really an awful play. Curled it back in when it could have gone out of the zone. Cleared it back up to, to his empty wing. Cleared it up to his spot, which is the wing. So now, just like that, Weathersfield's down again, 4-3. to three. Face off one by Weathersfield. Dumped in by Jake Rodriguez. It's going to be just on net. Cleared out by Suffield. Picked up by Matt Garcia. Lost at the blue line. Still has it, dumps it in the zone, giving chases Nick Laredo. He's down in the corner, throws it out in front, kicked away by the goalie. Suffield picks it up, tries to get the clear. Jake's able to get a stick on it, kick it away, picked away by Adrian, throws it out in front, tipped away by Suffield's D, kept in by Joe Carpio, then it gets by him. Suffield's moving up that wide side. They work with Matt Garcia. Player gets down and around, throws it out in front, tipped by Nick Laredo out of the way, and a nice glove save by Domingo. So Suffield had a man in front, and Weathersfield this time had a winger out in front that was able to cover the man, did a good job. That's what they need to do. Make sure there's a guy there. Trevor's gonna take this face off, left side of Domingo. Weathersfield's waiting on one. <laughs> Patty Dowd's gonna take this face off. Lost at the front, kicked out to Suffield's D. They wind up, high shot, Domingo gets a cover. Man on top of him. That D really needs to move that man out of the way. He can't be but four foot one, even on skates. Letting that guy manhandle his way in front of the goalie. Weatherfield's gotta do a better job of that. Suffield wins his face off, a shot right off the, the shot. Goes wide, picked up by Pat Dowd around the back of the net. He chips it up the boards. Matt Garcia's giving chase. He's got Jake there. He chips it up to Matt Garcia. Matt gets out to neutral ice. He's at the center line, at the blue line. He gets in. He takes a shot. It goes wide. Pucks wide there, left out. Picked up by Garcia, backhanded in. Picked up by Suffield. They're moving up the left side. They dump it in on zone. Giving chase is Patty Dowd. The Wildcats are able to pick this puck up, move up the boards. Patty Dowd moves it away from him, comes up the right side, in into the defense, gets through by one, gets manhandled by another, puck's dumped in. Controlled by Winterlock or by Weathersfield, dumped back in around the net by the Wildcats. Picked up by Adrian. He loses his feet, comes right out to a Wildcat player. They clear the zone. They're into the blue line. Matt Garcia stands him up at the blue line. Puck still at the blue line. Kept in by the Wildcats, dumped in deep. 
Patty Dowd's in there, loses control of number 24 for the Wildcats. Patty's able to steal it back from him, takes a big check. The puck's dumped back in. Patty Dowd comes back out with it, goes around the back of his net, looks for a regroup, spins it back around to Matt Garcia around the back of the net. Matt dumps it up to his wing. He's got Anthony Porter over there. Anthony looks for a man, dumps it out. He's got Adrian there, picked off in the middle by one of the Wildcats players, and back in the zone they come. Wildcats has it to come around the back of the net. Pass out in front, goes wide, kept in by the D. D's looking to take a shot, lined up, throws a low shot, tipped by the Wildcats out in front, saved by Domingo, tipped again away and saved by Domingo. Weatherfield dumps it in the corner, Wildcats pick it up, shot goes wide. All the way back to the D, they wind up with another shot, saved by Domingo, kicks it wide. Wildcats pick it up, they come around through the front, back in the front, saved by Domingo. Guys right there, pucks loose, and no goal, no goal. Going to say that the player kicked that puck in as Domingo was stretched out on his back trying to save that, and one of the players kicks the puck in. There'll be no goal. There'll be a face-off out in front. Face-off will come outside of Weathersfield zone. Gives them a time for a shift change. Face-off won by Weathersfield. Joel Carpio. Dumps it up in front. Looks like it's picked up by Ryan Byrne. Throws it out to Billy Connor out center ice. Billy's going to get a penalty here for interference. As when he came through the zone trying to play the puck, he stuck his arm out. It took the man off his feet. And that's exactly what Weathersfield doesn't want as in the, uh, someone in the box at this point trailing 4-3. So let's see how the boys do as a penalty kill goes. It looks like Adrian, Trevor, Joe, and Matt Garcia are going to take this penalty kill to start. One by the Wildcats. Wildcats have it up on the boards. Pin there and come loose. He throws it to the man behind. Matt Garcia is able to chip it up and dump it down. Good play by Matt. He's able to chip that puck off of his stick and dump it down. Trevor is giving chase. Chases a man around the back of the net. They are still gaining control. They come back around the back of the net looking for their breakout. They find a man wide up the left side. He comes through. He's across the blue line, makes a drop pass, kicked away by Weathersfield, dumped by Adrian. It's going to go all the way down. The goalie's going to come out to play it. The Wildcats player comes down. Adrian's giving chase. He's still working with the man up there. Adrian's still skating with him. Trevor's right there. Works him off the puck. They allow the guy all the way through neutral ice. He's in the zone. Coming wide, makes a drop pass. Shot, hits the post, goes wide. Kicked around by Joe Carpio. He's able to chip that puck out. It's going to go all the way down and spin as it works its way down on net. And their goalie's going to cover it as Weathersfield was going to be there to look to put that home. Nice aggressive play down there by Adrian to keep up with that puck. This will cause a faceoff down inside the Wildcat zone. Here's a drop of the puck. Shot right on goal from the faceoff, but the Wildcats are gaining control. They come up, they're moving up the left side. They got a man streaking. He comes out in front. He gets checked off, and the puck shipped away by Weathersfield. Picked up by Ryan Byrne. Ryan's got time. He's moving up the right side. He gets by one guy. He gets nailed by a second guy. The Weathersfield loses a puck. Joe Carbio takes a shot at the man over there, <laughs> and they're able to dump that puck deep in. Wildcats move it behind the back of the net. Chipped up, but picked up by. Noah, Noah picks it up, dumps it around the back of the corner. He's trying to hold it in and, and cover that to get some time. Still working with two players back there. Being held, but no call. The Wildcats chip this up, looking for a man. Noah cuts him off at neutral ice. He picks it up. He's going to dump it in. Wildcats are going to pick this up around their right side of the net. Chipped away by Noah. Noah's making a change. Out comes Adrian. The puck is still deep. Looks like Trevor has it. He kicks it around the back of the net. The Wildcats are going to pick that up. They're still working for it. Trevor, Adrian comes out, throws it out in front. The puck's loose. The goalie lands on it, covers it on the right side of his crease. Three seconds left on a penalty kill. Weathersfield's done a good job. The Eagles are doing a good job killing this penalty. There's 9.25 left as the Eagles trail. 4-3 in the second period. <clears throat> the 
Face off, just left out there, picked up by one of the <coughs> Suffield players. They get by the D, they come in on net, pass, pass out in front, goes through the crease, nobody home. They pick it up behind the back of the net, they throw it back to the other side. They go end and end, looking for a man. He gets around, Pat, but it's chipped away. Adrian's got it up the boards and loses it to one of the Suffield players. Suffield's got it right out in front of the net, chips it away. It's going to be covered by Domingo. It's chipped out in front of the net, chipped off of Domingo's stick, and he's able to cover it inside his own. Face off one by Weathersfield, picked up by Patty Dowd. Patty loses the puck in the corner. He got hit by two men there. Weathersfield still working with it. Billy Connor has it. He chips it up and through the man's uh, feet. It won't be an icing here as it went off of one of the players from the Wildcats. They pick it up around the back of the net, giving pressure to Ryan Burns. Wildcats move it up the right side. They try a cross ice pass, intercepted by Billy Connor, chipped back in by Weathersfield. Puck's deep around his own, in behind the net. Wildcats are pressured by Billy Connor. Chips a man off. Ryan Bird's right there working against his man. He comes out with the puck, chips it around the back of the net. Billy Connor's there to make a play on it, throws it out in front, chipped off the back of the net. Wildcats are able to clear it up. They come through neutral ice. They've got a two-on-one coming as Patty Dowd's working his way back. Patty Dowd gets back there, makes a save on that, picks the puck up, throws it over to Joe Carpio. Joe's moving up. He's got some room. He's got Billy Connor on the left side. Billy's in, he's at the neutral ice, he's through into the blue, into the defensive zone, takes a big check against the boards. Puck's loose out front, shot by Weathersfield, goes wide by Ryan Byrne. Puck's coming out through neutral ice. Wildcats have it, they've got a man streaking across the front, shot goes high and wide. Wildcats are going to pick this up on the left side, they dump it off to their D. D gets a shot, blocked by Nick Laredo. They get another shot on, chipped away by Domingo. Wildcats gain control behind the back of the net. They're looking for a man. They throw it cross ice to the other D. D's going to put a low shot blocked by Domingo and covered. Seven thirty-seven left in a second. The Eagles are trailing 4-3. Face off one. Chipped out in front. Chipped away. Picked up by Nick Laredo. Looking for a man. Nice crossing pass. Had looks like Jake there, throws it back up, it's got Trevor going up through, he tips it up, it goes all the way in and clears, Trevor gives chase around the back of the net, pucks loose, comes out front, Trevor kicks it around, all the way back around the right side, kept in by Weathersfield, Joe Carpio tips it in, right at the line, still kept in by Weathersfield, picked up by, looks like Trevor, he backhands it, goes high, puck kicked around the back of the net, picked up by the Wildcats, the Wildcats have it at the blue line. Chipped away, one by Anthony Portanova. Steals it from him, has a puck, takes a long shot. Oh, tipped by Trevor and blocked by the goal. Wildcats are trying to break it out. Joe Carby puts a big check on him and dumps that puck back in. Got a penalty coming on the Wildcats as a retaliation as he hit Joe. Didn't like being checked. The big boy didn't like being checked by someone half his size. And in the box he goes. So at 6.51, left in the second, Weathersfield's gonna take a one-man advantage, trailing four to three. Face off would be on the left side of the Wildcats goal. One by Weathersfield, picked up by Patty Dowd as he cycles down low, makes a spin move, looking for a player, he's got time, nobody's on him, throws it back to Mark Casilla, throws it back to Patty Dowd, Patty picks it up, he steps down up front, takes the shot, blocked by the defense, they're coming through, they've got a man coming up the right side, they break through the zone, they dump a pass off, picked away by Patty Dowd, he regroups around the back of the net, got pressure, kicks it around the man, over to Noah, kicks it away, picked up by Joe Carpio, Joe's moving up and loses it right in front. The Wildcats have it. They dive out for it. Matt Garcia is able to pick it up. Looks for a man. Has Billy Connor coming through. Billy comes through. He's at the blue line. He crosses in. Takes a shot. Blocker saved by the goalie. Puck kicks around the backside. Still loose. Billy Connor has it. Throws it over to Patty Dowd. Patty dumps it to the D. Nobody home. Matt Garcia couldn't keep it there. Dumped back in. Delayed offside's called. Now the pressure comes. They throw it up the wing. It's going to be dumped in right to a, a Wildcat player. He makes a spin move. Comes back around. Two men on him, working for it. Another Wildcat there. They're trying to freeze the puck. Puck comes out. Wildcats have it. But back behind Weathersfield's net. Joe Carpio is working with him. He flips that puck. The puck comes loose. Matt Garcia has it. Wildcats gain control again. They pick it back up. They dump it back in around the net. 
It's gonna be picked up this time, looks like by, by the Weathersfield. Nope, Matt Garcia, Wildcats steal it. They have the puck, toe drag, makes another move, and a save by Domingo as he toe dragged through two defensive players. Domingo reaches out and takes that puck before he gets a chance to take a shot. Weathersfield's doing a little too much watching the puck as opposed to taking that body out of the way the first time he tried that toe drag. 36 seconds left on a power play. Weatherfield wins a faceoff. Joe Carpio has it. He chips it up the boards and around. Uh, the Wildcats are able to keep it in. Joe's working with his man. It's picked up by Trevor. Lost again and picked up by Joe. Joe's got a man draped all over him, holding him. Joe still gains control of the puck. Comes to neutral ice. He's up inside the zone. He gets by a guy. Dumps the puck off. Picked up by the Wildcats and dumped back in by Trevor. The Wildcats are able to clear this. It's going to be just wide at Domingo. Got one player, the nine seconds left on a, a power play. Picked over, Joe's got it, he comes through neutral ice. He hits Matt Garcia coming up the wide side. Matt's inside the zone, throws it out in front, it goes wide. Wildcats got a man, came out of the box now, they're even strength. Puck's dropped out, they've got it, they try to dump it in. Joe Carpio keeps it at the blue line, misses a check, avoids it, gets by one guy, comes through another, gets checked, the puck's loose. Backhanded over there. Wildcats come out with it. Weathersfield steals it at the blue line. Throws a shot. Deflected off. Out in front. Wide of the net. Wildcats are able to pick this puck up and outside the zone. They're moving up on a two-on-one. They come in the zone. Got a man wide. He throws it. Nice block by Joe Carbio. And the puck was loose. <coughs> Ref lost sight of that one. That puck was loose. The only good part is Weathersfield had three players right there looking to clear that out, so I don't think that that was going to be a shot on that, but I can understand the oohs and ahs from the crowd as from our vantage point, we could see that it was loose. 4.17 left, 4-3. Weathersfield's trailing. Faceoff's going to be to the left side of Domingo. Billy Connor is going to take this face off. Face off one by Billy right up front. He's moving. He's got Adrian on that side. He's got, <clears throat> looks like Ryan Byrne comes in. He's across the line. He throws it to Adrian. Adrian drops back. Takes a weak shot that gets blocked off. Up come the Wildcats coming up left side. They dump it in the zone. Goes all the way around the net. <clears throat> Weathersfield's kind of sitting back waiting for him. Dumped in by Weathersfield around their own net. Ryan Byrne's right there to work with him. We got an elbow coming to Billy Connor. We're gonna call interference. It's a tough call. The two guys are playing the puck and he's calling an interference. That's a bad call on these refs and Weatherfield's gonna be down a man here with 344 left to play in the second. That's a tough call as Pat Dowd is trying to uh, state his <coughs> opinion to the refs, but they'll have none of it. We'll have a faceoff to the right side of Domingo. Weathersfield still trailing by one with 344, or 349 left in the second. Faceoff one by the Wildcats. Brought back out, they go D to D. Looking to wind up, he takes a shot, it's low, deflected wide. They still have control. Spin around the back, they throw it to the man behind the back and then it chips out. He comes out, still throws it out there. They're cycling through. They're behind the back of the net now. Now he's up on the right side looking for a man. They cycle up, spin around. Weathersfield's doing a good job of keeping him from getting the puck loose in the front. And the Wildcats try to center it, and it goes wide. Out and out of the zone. Trevor Niren's going to give chase down there. Wildcats go D to D. They hit the wide wing, waiting on a blue line. They come in the zone, chipped away by Matt Garcia. Matt Abel's to chip it up the boards and gets his clear out of the zone. Wildcats pick it up at their blue line. They throw it up to the wing on the right side. They're going to dump this and spin all the way around. Big guy coming in to Matt Garcia. Matt's going to put a shot on him. Guy spins back around the bench. Matt loses his stick. Comes back through. Wildcats are right there. Dump it out front. He's shot. Saved by Domingo. They need to clear that big boy out in front there. Weathersfield gains control and chips it out of the zone. Wildcats have it. They dump it in. Picked up by Patty Dowd. He's got a three on two going right there. He takes a long shot, deflected off off the glass. Adrian's right there, throws it out in front. Picked up, out in front, Adrian backhands it. Shot, glove save, it's loose in front. Patty Dow dies for it, couldn't get to it. Wildcats pick it up, they got a guy wide up that side. 
Couldn't have no ice as it got through Joe Carpio's legs. He's got to race that guy around the net. He's going to pick it back up. Spins through one guy. He's got it out front of the net. Bad play to do that. Wildcats have it. They clear it. Kicked away by Domingo. And then a paddle save by Domingo. Joe Carpio is going to send it all the way up ice and on net. 19 seconds left in a penalty kill. Wildcats are moving up the right, left side. They dump it deep in behind the net. They're going to be the first man there. Matt, they pick up the puck. They dump it in behind. Pick it up. Moving up the left side. Looks for the D. They have it. They take a shot. Long shot goes wide. Man's out of the box. We're at even strength now. And the Wildcats try to dump it deep. And outside the playing surface it goes. The faceoff will come outside of Weathersfield's defensive zone. With 1.46 left in the second. Trailing 4-3. Face off left, right, and front. Picked up by Billy Connor. Back to Matt Garcia. Matt's got some pressure. He throws it up the boards. Chips it out just a little far for Ryan Byrne. Chips up the boards. Picked up by Noah. Noah has it. And Ryan was apparently offside trying to clear back in. So we'll have a face off outside of the Wildcat zone right in front of Weathersfield's bench with 133 left in the second. Face off, one by Weathersfield. Joe Carpio has it. He chips it off of, <coughs> tried to make a pass. It went off of number 26 for the Wildcats. And out of the zone, we'll have a face off right at center ice. Face off, one by the Wildcats. They split right through the D. Up on the left side, a pass out in front. He's got it. He takes a shot, kicked away by Domingo. Follow up shot, blocked away by Domingo. Matt Garcia works it up the boards. Noah's going to be right there. He picks it up, chips it up. He's got Billy Connor. Billy's got a hook right there. No call coming on that. Billy's into the defensive zone. Drops the puck back for Noah. The puck moves all the way forward. The Wildcats come out with it. They go out to their wing. Looking wide. Wing splits the D here. Coming through. Chipped away by Joe Acarpio. Picked up by Billy Connor. Dumped through. Out at neutral ice. Picked up by the Wildcats. Going to be intercepted by Matt Garcia. Neutralized in the zone. He's going. Looking. Makes a move by a player. Gets shot. We've got a penalty coming here. For possibly a trip. No, a hook. Going to call it a hook here. Not sure how, but maybe that's a makeup for the interference call that they had down here that they missed. In either case, Weatherfield's going to have a power play for the next 50 seconds into the second period. Face off deep in the zone for the Wildcats. They're going to throw this up and are able to clear the zone. Puck comes all the way down to Domingo. I'm not sure why he didn't come out and play that. Wildcats pick it up. They come loose with it. They're out in front. He spins it around right into Domingo's chest, and Domingo's able to lay on it and cover it. Not sure why Domingo didn't come out of that net to play that puck up the boards when he saw that pressure coming, as opposed to letting for it. I think he had a feeling it was an icing call and didn't realize that they were shorthanded. 37 seconds left, face-off shot, missed, and the, Rock, uh, <coughs> the Wildcats gain control. The puck kicks out from behind, comes right out. Joe Carpio has it. He's looking up. He's got Patty Dowd up on the right side. Patty's crossed in. He's inside the blue line. He's through. He's by a man. Turns, takes a shot. Low shot off the boards. Comes back through, chips it out to D-Mac. Garcia takes a shot, goes down low. Tit away, follow-up shot by Pat Dowd. Loose out in front, backhand shot. Still loose out in front. The Wildcats are going to clear this all the way down and on net. Domingo leaves it out for Matt Garcia. Got a player on him. Matt's going to kick it around the boards. Takes a big check here. Picked up by Joe Carpio, who dumps that puck over there and <clears throat> leaves it all the way in. And that's the end of the second period. With the score, Weathersfield trailing 4-3 to the Wild. At the start of the third period, Weathersfield trailing 4-3. Face off one by the... Wildcats, they dump it behind Weathersfield zone and they give chase. Joe Carpio has it, throws it back out to his D. He's got a man open there, comes through. Billy Connor dumps it up the wing. But this puck's going to be gained by the Wildcats as they chip it to neutral ice and are able to dump this in. Picked away by Noah. Dumped back in by the Wildcats. They give chase. Matt Garcia's there. Dumps it up the boards. Picked up by Billy Connor. Billy's going to chip it up. Can't get by the man. Wildcats are able to dump this one back in and they're going to give chase. Putting on good pressure on Weathersfield, and that's been part of the issue with Weathersfield today. They haven't been able to clear that zone with a one-man advantage, as they've had a couple of them today. 
Joe Carpio's moving up the ice. He's got a man all over him. Makes a drop pass. He's got Matt Garcia there. Dumps it over to Billy Connor. Billy crosses his own. Noah's got it out in front. Loses it in front. It's running through his skates. Still loose in front. Slap shot goes wide. Chips back away. It's loose out in front. Wildcats are able to chip it out and clear. Half of that problem with Noah over there is his ice was so wet. Billy Connor chips it up. Can't get by his man. Wildcats have it. They're going to clear it right up through the center of the ice. Picked away by Joe Carpio. Joe's got it at neutral ice. Makes a spin move. Gets by his guy. Can't get by the second one. Two of them on him. Loses the puck. Wildcats pick it up. Penalty's over. We're at even strength. Wildcats have it. Yet neutral ice. They can't get the, get the puck through. Billy Connor picks it up. Chips it up. He had Noah. Noah loses the handle on it. Billy Connor puts a big check on the man. Wildcats pick it up in neutral ice, hit that weak side wing coming up on the right side. They make a drop pass. It's picked off by Billy Connor. Billy's got two men coming through. He's out through front. He gets by one guy. The shot comes weak on net. And we'll have no call here. No call on the holding, grabbing. So uh, as you hear some of the fans yelling about the hold call, um, Weathersfield's gonna take this face off to the left side of their goalie. Shot on net, just goes wide. Puck comes loose. The Wildcats chip it up and not out. Kept in by Weathersfield. Wildcats still can't chip it out. Kept in by Weathersfield. They're looking to get a shot. Looks like Jake can't get it through. Wildcats are able to clear it. It's in Matt Garcia's feet. He chips it up the boards. Jake's gonna be there, picked up by Joe Carpio, Joe gets by one man. He's in on the second man. Takes a shot in the pad. Shot's loose, drops down. The goalie covers. Joe's like a one-man wrecking crew out there today. See if Trevor puts this one back on net. The last faceoff, he was able to get the puck just wide of the net. Takes a shot, it comes loose. It's loose out in front. Wildcats can't clear it. Kept in by Matt Garcia, but chipped out by the Wildcats. They're down on the left side. They're inside the zone. Picked away by Weathersfield. They picked their pocket. Couldn't get the clear, though. Wildcats pick it up right in front of the net. Take a shot. Saved by Domingo. No! Goes through the five hole and in. Looked like Domingo had made that save, but it went through the five hole and in. Weathersfield now trailing. 5-3 with 12.35 left in the third. Face off out front, up to Anthony Portanova. Anthony tries to come into the zone, and that's, you know, another problem is Weatherfield trying to split their D all the time. D to D, pass to Weatherfield, chipped up the boards. Anthony has it at the blue line. He leaves it out front, picked up by the Wildcats, dumped in the zone. No offsides, picked up by Patty Dowd. No, Joe Carpio, he loses it right there. Wildcats pick it up. They're coming in on Patty Dowd. He's working against his man. Shot goes wide, tipped away by Domingo. Kept in by the Wildcats. They chip it back into the zone. Got a guy open right behind. He throws it out in front. Nobody there. We've got a call coming. Looks like we'll have a faceoff outside the zone. Looks like Domingo had lost his helmet, so they're blowing the play dead so as not to hurt the goalie. And the Wildcats had an opportunity there as they had a man perched in front of the net who missed the centering pass. Face off to the left side of Domingo. Adrian's gonna take it. Chipped up to the Wildcats, a long shot. Saved by Domingo, right in the stomach. He's able to suck that in and keep it. Face off, left side of Domingo. Joe Carpio is gonna take the face off. Chipped up, Wildcats get it. They go D to D, but they lose the handle on it. It clears the zone. Got pressure coming. They have it, they throw it out, the new ice catch that weak side wing all the way up. No icing, the puck's gonna be behind the net. Matt Garcia chips it around, Get, gets taken out behind the back of the net. The Wildcats keep it in and dump it deep in his own. They've got control, Weathersfield has it now behind the back of the net, it's George Carpio. Takes a big check, eludes one player, moves up the other side, hits it up the boards, gets it in, gets, tries to get by one other player, is able to keep the puck in, still has control of the puck. Don't know how he's getting by everybody, but he has. Now he's taken down with a hook. And we got a call coming. Finally, they caught this. This is like the fourth time the defense have wrapped their arms around these guys. They finally got the call right. 
So Weatherfield's going to take a one-man advantage with 11-21. Left in the third, trailing 5-3. Face off to the right side of the Wildcats goal. One by Weatherstreet. Patty Dow throws it back to D. D goes D to D, but the Wildcat player right there. Weatherstreet tried to dump it in, but couldn't. The Wildcats are going to throw it all the way up the ice and going to be the first man back there to get that puck. Weatherstreet doesn't seem to be much of a rush there. Wildcats gain control. He spins around the backside. He's still gaining control. Got two guys working on him now. Now he's got it pinned in. They're trying to keep control of the puck. Chipped up. Wildcats still have it. They move through. Puck loose in front. Clearing shot, off to post, went post to post, but not in. Wildcats have the puck still. They're down a man and they're putting pressure on. Wide, wide clear, goes wide. Pat Dowd picks it up, coming up through the left side. He's at neutral ice. He's crossed into the zone. He can't stick behind the guy, but he does gain control of the puck. It's in his feet. Wildcats pick it up and get away with it. They're able to clear the puck. It's gonna go all the way down, giving chase of the Wildcats right on top of Matt Garcia. Matt's going to chip it up the boards, only to a Wildcat player. So Wildcats are going to gain control of it again. Shorthanded, they seem to be the aggressor on this. They have control of the puck right behind the back of the net, looking for a man open in front. They've got it. Throw it out there. He's in the corner. Looks like Trevor's working with him. Puck's loose. Wildcats still have control of it. They throw it out in front. Chips up to their D. Their D dump it deep. Wildcats got a very good penalty kill. They're very aggressive. They're keeping the puck in. They're keeping control on it. Weathersfield just doesn't seem to have the bodies to work them off. Puck clearing pass out in front. Centering pass. Shot, and it hits the ceiling after it tipped off a Weathersfield player. Wildcats are dominating this power play, and it's Weathersfield's power play. Face-off will be the left side of Domingo. One by the Wildcats. Shot goes wide. Picked up by Adrian. Scoops around. He's got a player on him. Loses control of the puck. Wildcats pick it up. Two players back there now. Adrian and Ryan Byrne are digging for the puck. Puck still in the Wildcats. Laying on top of it. Ryan Byrne's trying to dig it out. Can't dig it out. Finally gets it. He's coming up the left side. Tries to chip it out, but kept in by the Wildcats. Adrian's going to come back and get it. Throws it over. Well, clearing pass, but it goes right to a Wildcat, but tips over a stick. Trying to get through. They dump it in on net. Pass goes, the shot goes wide. Noah's there. Spins it around, dumps it deep. Looks like Anthony Portanova's there. Works his man off the puck. Ryan Burns right there. Working on the puck, trying to clear it out. Wildcats are working with it. They get there clear. They throw it up the ice. No ice and call, no ice. Wildcats are going to win that one to get all the way down. Adrian chips it to Matt Garcia. Matt has it behind the back of the net. Chips it up the boards. Comes right out to a Wildcat player. Takes a shot that goes wide. Wildcats D on the left side. Picks it in. Dumps that puck in. Picked up by Weathersfield. They've got it moving up the left side. They dump it in neutral ice. Picked up by a Wildcat player. And we got another penalty coming for a board. Coming against the Wildcats. Not that this has been helping. Weathersfield at all, that last penalty kill was all done in Weathersfield's side. The Wildcats are applying all the pressure. Face off will be the left side of the Wildcats goal. Eagles still trailing 5-3. Uh, sometimes they're supposed to have them, but you never know. Won by the Wildcats. Trevor Niren's able to steal this up, chips it out, out in front. It's loose, but the Wildcats are going to gain control at the blue line. They're going to work their way in. Two on one, two on two now. Guys zigzagging around, just killing time, and Weathersfield's allowing that to happen. Joe Carbio chips it back to Matt Garcia, around the back of the net. Matt throws it up the boards. He's got Trevor there. Trevor's coming in, throws a pass over to Billy Connor, loses it. Billy's able to gain control, throws it back in, chipped away, left up in the corner. Patty Dowd's going to throw it up. It's loose in his feet. Kicked out front, Patty's trying to find a man, looking for some help. Spins back around, he's got his other D, Joe Carpio. Joe spins around, gets by the guy, goes in and plays a shot. Shot's loose out front. Trevor has it, dumps it back in front. Pat Hattie throwed it over the other side. Trevor picks it up, throws it back to the D, unfortunately, right to a Wildcat player. Matt Garcia does a great job of keeping that puck in. Shot by Billy Connor goes wide as Pat Dowd tried to tip it in. Wildcats are trying to get there. Joe Carpio's trying to work his way off. Garcia picks the puck up. Dumps it over to Billy Connor. Billy's got it in inside the zone. Takes a long shot. Blocks up. Loose in front. Billy Connor's trying to work it through. Saved by Weathersfield. Kept in. Loose up against the boards. The Wildcats are going to get an icing call here. 
Domingo's gonna leave this out for Matt Garcia. Matt's got pressure, got a guy on him, he dumps it. No D there, now Joe Carpio's back there. Joe's looking to make a move, got a guy on him. Joe kicks it out to the wing. He's got, a, uh, looks like Anthony Portanova, gets by one guy, gets by the second guy, he's got Nick Larito. Nick throws it out in front. Shot gets kicked away by the goalie. And chipped out of the game by the Wildcats. A faceoff will be down on the right side. It's a nice pass by Anthony there, and that shot just tipped away by the goalie. And our ref decides to take a plunder on the ice. Nice play by the ref. Think he tripped over the blue line. Twenty-three seconds left in a power play. Weathersfield wins a faceoff. They go back to Joe Carpio. Joe tries to chip it in, but can't. Wildcats try to get it out, but they can't. Joe keeps it in, loses it at the blue line. Wildcats gain control. Adrian stands a man up. It's able to take the puck off his stick. Joe Carpio gains control. He has Noah coming up the other side. Noah tries to chip it in, cannot. Dumped in by Weathersfield. Not all the way in, not deep. Wildcats are able to clear this out, and the penalty has come to an end. Adrian's got the puck. He moves up the right side. He's got through. He's got. Looks like Anthony with him. Anthony makes a nice pass to Noah. Noah makes a stop. Pops it out front. Nobody home. They all pulled up short. Wildcats try to clear the ice and can't. They finally do with the pressure on Joe. Adrian's back on defense by himself. Two Wildcat players. One loose in front. Kicked out in front. Pass goes wide. Picked up by Noah. Noah's going to go around the back of the net. Tries to avoid a player. Wildcats gain control. Take a shot. Blocked and gone wide. Wildcats got it on a D. It's going to be picked up by Trevor. No, Noah. Noah's coming up the left side. He's got Patty Dowd with him. He's going to take a pass. Chipped out. Bounces over Patty's stick. Out of the crease. Wildcats are able to clear the zone. Coming all the way up. Adrian's going to pick this up. He's going to make a spin move. Wildcats are right there to take it off his stick. But Adrian gains control. Has it coming through. He's up at his blue line. Looking for a man. Can't chip it in. Gets worked off the play. Wildcats are able to clear the puck out. They neutral ice and now in the Weathersfield zone. 537 left. Weathersfield being harassed down there. Chipped away by Weathersfield. Out over to Trevor. Trevor's going to come in and dump it deep. Kicks off the backboard. Down around the net. Trevor's going to apply chase. Wildcats are looking to break it up. They chip it all the way out. They got two men behind. It's a two on one. Another back guy coming. Shot goes wide. Matt Garcia's there to break that play up. Wildcats gain control behind the back of the net. Matt Garcia's Working with him back there. Puck comes loose. Chipped out in front. It goes wide. Giving chase is a Wildcat player, Nick Larito. Nick puts a check on the Wildcats. Come in, able to dump that in. Wildcats have it. Looking to make a play. They spin back around. It chips out loose. Weathersfield's working down low. Wildcat player with him. Wildcats come out of that with control. Weathersfield chips it up the boards. Blind pass right back to Wildcat defense. They dump it back in behind the back of the net. Weathersfield chips it up. Looks like Jake Rodriguez is trying to tip it by, cannot, loses it in his skates. Kept against the boards, Wildcats dump it deeper in the zone. They have control, they work their player off. Oh, we got a big check down there. Weathersfield's coming through, Joe Carpio is gonna cut that one off. He's got a man with him, looks like it's Nick Larito on the left side, Joe comes in. Wildcats are able to clear that out, no, not out of the zone, kept in by Weathersfield. Shot goes on, block save. Shot back on, it's kicked out loose in front, Joe Carpio's there. Covered by the goalie, we'll have a face off to the left side of the Wildcats goal. 4-15 left in the third period, Weathersfield trailing 5-3. Face off, one by Weathersfield, dump back to the Wildcats, they chip it up the boards but not out, Patty Dowd gets control of it, gets checked in the middle, the puck's right behind him. Loose, trying to chip up by the Wildcats, kept in by Weathersfield. Patty Dowd keeps it in, dumps it in down below. Ryan Burns right there, it adds some pressure. He chips it back to Patty. Patty can't keep it in. Wildcats make it. East-West pass there by Adrian. They get by him, they work all the way through. Adrian's down in front, they take a shot. Bounces off of Domingo, rebound shot saved by Domingo. Puck still loose, out front, chipped away by Weathersfield. Picked up by the Wildcats, they shoot. Puck loose out in front, chipped away by the defense. Weathersfield trying to clear and finally gets a clear. Wildcats dump that back in, delayed off sides. Going to be picked up by Matt Garcia. Going to dump it up the boards. Lost at the blue line. Chipped out by Weathersfield. Wildcats giving chase. Looks like Patty Dowd on his man. 
Still working around there. Weathersfield's going to try to cut him off at the boards and cannot. Oh, almost intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Portanova. He's going to back in this one in the zone. Not too deep. Wildcats pick it up. They chip it up at neutral ice. Gets by Matt Garcia. He dumps it back in the Wildcat zone. Wildcats try to clear it out the zone, and they do. It's going to be picked up by Ryan Byrne. Chipped up at Patty Doubt's feet, and we're going to have an offsides call coming. Three oh nine left in the third. Weathersfield trailing five three. There's a cross check coming to the Wildcats right there. Well, they didn't call a cross check, even though it was both hands. They're calling hands to the face or head contact. Weatherfield will be on the power play again. Three minutes and five seconds left in the third. Trailing five three. And I've had him as a ref in some of our games, and no, he doesn't blow his whistle very often. Face off, one by Weathersfield, kick back to the D. Joe Carpio has it, throws it back to Patty Dowd. Patty's looking for his man, he's got Joe streaming up the middle. Joe winds up, low shot, rebound save out front, loose. It chipped up in the air, it's still loose. They're digging for it, puck still loose. Can't get control, Wildcats come out with it. They try to chip it up, Joe Carpio keeps it in. Joe's looking for his man, chips it loose, it's out front. Got the goalie on a rough now. Weatherfield is going to have a two-man advantage as they got the goalie called on a rough. And look at he must have heard us talking because he used his whistle and called the penalty. So with 2.44 left, Weatherfield's going to have a two-man advantage here. Two shots to put this puck in the net. 139 in one penalty and two minutes in the other. Face off one by Weathersfield. Patty Dowd has control. Throws it over to Joe Carpio. Joe throws it back out front. Shot by Matt Garcia. Goes wide. Loose in front. They score. Billy Connor right there as that puck went wide. Went off the backboard. Back around in front of the net. And Billy Connor was right there on the doorstep to put one home. And that's what they need to do. So they'll have a minute 53 left on the second penalty. Weathersfield still with a one-man advantage. Looks like we're going to have a timeout called on White. So we have 2.37 left in the third. Weathersfield trailing 5-4. They have a one-man advantage for the next minute and 53 seconds. So as they're breaking from the timeout called by White, Weathersfield is working over there, looking at a play, trying to see where we're going to go. We'll have a face-off at center ice, five on four. 2.37 left in the third, trailing five to four. Bill Connor's going to take this face-off. He's got Trevor out there with Pat. Face-off won by Weathersfield. Drop back to the D. Pat... Gains control, throws it over to Matt Garcia. Matt Garcia throws it up the boards. He's got a Joe Carpio working up the right side. He's got Patty Dowd out in front. Patty Dowd's in there. He drops it for Billy. Billy takes a shot. It's out in front, covered by the goal. Held on to. Trevor went in there looking for a rebound. Nothing. The second that they blew the whistle, he stopped. They even let go of his stick. So Trevor's not doing anything dirty down there. Following up till the whistle. That's what the boys need to do. Face off right side of... The Wildcats, 2.22 left, won by Weathersfield. Man right on Pat, tipped, almost blocked by the goalie. Kick to the net, it's on the back side of the net. Weathersfield's working behind the net with two players. It comes out, pucks loose. They cleared up and not out. Kept in by Joe Carpio. The puck is loose, Trevor puts a shot off the post. Pat Dow's working to try to get it in. Could not keep it in. Joe is gonna pick this up. That shot, that turnaround shot by Trevor, just off the post. Joe Carpio is going to work his way through. He's by one guy. He's by a second guy. He's in the middle. Sidesteps another guy. Loses the handle on it. And the Wildcats are able to clear. And it looks like they're going to apply pressure. Two guys going back for Weathersfield. Tre Trevor's right there. Takes a shot trying to clear the puck out. Able to chip it out to Matt Garcia. Matt Garcia is moving up the left side. He's got Billy Connor. Billy gets by his man. Takes a big check. Dumps the puck in. Patty Dowd is right on him. 
puck cleared up the boards and not kept in by Weathersfield. So it'll come all the way down behind their net. They pulled the goalie with a minute 23 left. Weathersfield's looking for a man. Matt Garcia has it. He loses the handle right out in front of the net. Puck's loose, picked up by Patty Dowd, still loose. In the corner, the Wildcats have control of it. Two Weathersfield players are there, kicks out, Weathersfield has it, picked up, lost again by Weathersfield, picked up by Trevor, kicked out, loose. The Wildcats are gonna try to put a shot on net, picked away. Billy Connor has it, cross ice pass. Gonna have an icing call coming. As Anthony wasn't able to get to that one before it crossed the line. We're gonna have an icing call and they're gonna put Domingo back in with 51 seconds left and seven seconds left on the power play. Nice thing to pull the goalie. Unfortunately, they couldn't clear their zone there. A lot of guys on the same side trying to get, get control of that puck. Let's see what Weathersfield does. Face off on the left side of Domingo. Trailing 5-4, 51 seconds left in the game. Puck's picked up. Joe Carpio has it. He spins around, kicks it out. Patty Dowd's gonna pick this puck up. He's got some room to work. He's got by one man, he's at center ice, he's at the blue line, he's coming through, he's gonna put a backhand out in front, cleared by the goalie, kept in by Joe Carpio. Joe works his way down, he's loose out in front, the puck's loose by, by the net, still loose, the goalie covers it. 32 seconds left, face off to the right side of their goal, and you know that Domingo will be pulled, and I'm sure Weathersfield's gonna call a timeout right now to work on a play. And Weathersfield does, they call their timeout, smart play with 32 seconds left. That gives them that one man advantage. Let them work on something. 32.4 seconds left in the third. Five to four, Weathersfield trailing. They pull the goalie. Looks like they've lost control of the puck right at the blue line. Puck's out of the zone. Pat Dowd's gonna pick it up. He's gonna spin. He's gonna dump it up the boards. Nope, it's gonna hit a player on the bench as he tried to control it. And we're gonna have a face off just outside of Weathersfield zone. Uh, I'm gonna bet that they're gonna put the goalie in, yep, because now they move the face off to the left side of Domingo. So there's 23 seconds left. Weathersfield trailing by one. That face off was blown dead for some reason by the ref. We're gonna try to find out why. Eh, at this point, we don't. it doesn't even matter. They dropped the puck. Puck's just frozen out in front, kicked up and not out of the zone. Out of the zone it goes. Weathersfield gains control. They've got 14 seconds left. They tried to clear it up, they could not. Looks like the Wildcats are gonna take this one unless something big happens as Weathersfield's got control. They've got four seconds left, three seconds left, two seconds left, shot goes wide and that's the end of the game. As the Suffield Granby Winslocks Wildcats defeat the Weathersfield Eagles by a score of five to four. This concludes another night of Eagles hockey. We will see you on Saturday for the next Eagles hockey game. Rita.